Today, I am out here on the big island of Hawaii with my friend Patrick, AKA Agent Tex of the Adventure Agents. And also Patrick's son, Axel, is out here helping us too. He purchased all of this lumber here from Home Depot last night, and we are going to build a eight by eight shelter out here on his new property on the lava that he purchased here <laughs> just a few excited, days ago. Super man. Thank you so much for coming yeah. out here to help us. We yeah. really appreciate it. It's gonna be great. It's good to see you again. I traveled all day yesterday. It was about eight hours of flying. I decided to go on this trip two days ago when I got a call from Patrick. It was like, hey, you wanna help me build this thing? <laughs> After a second flight to Hilo, I finally made it to the Big Island. It takes two flights and about eight hours and change of total travel time to get here. And then an Uber drive to meet him at Home Depot last night. <laughs> and uh, now we're here and we're ready to start building. Yeah, let's do it. And this is what they do. They got their uh, water, water tank. Here. Yeah. And if they can't get enough from the rain, they just go into town and <clears throat> get them from the there's a water hose in here. doesn't like chip like I thought it would, you know? Yeah. I guess because it, it gives, it's like, yeah. it's malleable. Yeah, on the side, or, or even like right here maybe. So we made a separate trip to Home Depot here to grab the foundation of our building and some more lumber. Because the truck was so loaded down on that first trip, we could literally couldn't fit anything else. Right now I'm at my parents' house, which is close to Patrick's property on the Big Island. Patrick came back to the house, dropped me off. I have now filled up my parents' minivan with tools and this ladder and some sawhorses and a bunch of other random stuff. And now I'm finally ready to head back out to the property and build, finally. So I stole Patrick's hat and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt even though it's super hot out here. I'm so afraid of getting sunburned because my skin is not used to <laughs> all this sunshine and if I spend five hours out here in the direct sunlight, I'm gonna be scorched by the end of the day, so. Bring it in and fill in that. Well, so you want to put that post in there? Yep. go. 
so we're doing all this as fast as possible because we have a short window of time basically we started at like two o'clock and the sun goes down at 5 30 or something like that so we have that amount of time to do this so we're going as quick as we can to make these posts as square and plumb as we can with each other in a short period of time right there there you go So we got all four posts attached to the pier blocks here. Each one of those pier pads were almost perfectly level with each other, despite the fact that we are on this lava that's not level at all, or it didn't appear to be. And we're just like, ah, let's throw some cinder down and get them relatively close with each other. And then we'll just call it good. And we'll build the floor up off the post a little bit. But we just threw it all together and almost all four of these are perfectly level with each other. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What? You guys see how uneven this lava is. If this is level with that one over there, I'll buy everyone lunch. Uh, <laughs> I'll eat my shoe. Yeah, this is so crazy. That one was level with that one. And that one is level with that one. And now he's gonna check that one. But this lava is just like... I almost don't want this to be level because things, when stuff is that perfect, something's wrong. Almost level. Just about. I like it when things are just a little off, you know, because I'm just a little off in the head. So, you know, it makes me feel bad when everything's perfectly sane, you know. <laughs> you want to pick this up? Uh, yeah. And set it up there. Okay, here's the base for our floor here. left-handed <laughs> <laughs> See, if I flip this over, those two lines don't match up because that blade on that saw is round. But I'll use this, which is straight, to finish it. <laughs> so you can see that the round edge cut from the circular saw and then the finish with the flat blade. So this is my first dead battery of the day and if you're wondering how I'm going to charge this with this Jackery and solar panel setup we got here. Aha!
So Chef Axe is taking a break over here. And doing some, co well, he's not really taking a break. He's also working. And cooking. Oh, that looks pretty good. So what do we got going here? French or grilled, grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. Yeah, I almost said French mm -hmm. toast. <laughs> as soon as I saw the bread, I was like, ooh, French toast. Looks tasty. And the smoke from the stove is <laughs> carrying over to our work site. It smells so good. Nice cut. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's the other way. I was like, why does that look so I looked ugly. <laughs> Did we cut the egg piece out? Oh, dang it. I'm going for the glory shot here. <laughs> Again, cut. Take three. Yeah, like a glove. Might need a hammer for the glory shot. Like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> storm brewing, the dark clouds are rolling in. Coming down now. No, no, in the Brothers, now it's gonna get flipped. Depends on the truck. Ah. You want me to go along and make marks? Something like that. Let's do it. What else? What do I need to do? Truck window girl. and mark the rafters two foot on center up there and then Patrick <laughs> is up there <laughs> is up there screwing things in <laughs> so we didn't quite get the roof on before the rain started but oh well
Yeah, whatever. Yeah. It, it's not. You well, just just opt to making it lower yeah. on the side that's, you know. All right, okay. I would say. Boom. Nice. All right, it's getting dark now, so I moved the van and pointed it in the direction of our job site so we can have some light while we put on the roof. Okay, so there's gonna be bamboo walls around this entire building. And earlier, Patrick put on the bottom plate to fasten that bamboo to. Now I'm gonna install a top plate around the perimeter for the bamboo to fasten onto. Let me know when you need the next sheet of metal. Okay, could you hand me a two by four by... Oh, we got 12 down here. Patrick finished the roof. I want to go inspect his work up here. <laughs> <laughs> Need the foreman's approval. Oh man, these screws look pretty straight. There's, I, I think like. <laughs> oh, I see. I messed up three of them. Yeah, I see one that you missed a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I but, unfortunately can't pull it out because it will leak. So yeah. I'm gonna figure out later what to do with it, but for now I'm just leaving it there. Okay, we got the top and bottom plate all the way around for the bamboo, and now we're gonna start rolling it out. So I guess uh, we'll, we could start on the end, maybe let's start over here. Well, I'm just gonna show you how long this is. Compare. So, like. It looks oh, perfect. I'm at the beginning of the pose. Oh, all right, let's pick it up. So is your flush there and your flush there. Can you hold that right there? Let me see what it looks like right here. Oh right, yeah, we got a bit. So let's pull it over a little more. I'm gonna do the bottom of this one. Are we gonna stick some on the top up there? Yes. Start throwing at this one. Do you see any drop box or anything? Oh. The things are not right, alright? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Said, 
doesn't work when it's not working, it's always going to stick it, like have a tarp that yeah. can't That's all it's going to have eventually the tarp just hanging up there. Oh! Like, no, no. hinge it or anything? Or? Just the like... The door will be hinged, I think your dad's going to cut this off clean. Oh, I'll cut the bamboo. I know! <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Yeah. Well, this is actually how we do the chain work. We pick it up. I should have known that would happen. It's gravity, pretty basic. Laws of physics and such. <laughs> Sorry, Axel. <laughs> this is what it looks like from the inside now. We got all that bamboo up on the walls, and there's a little bit of a gap on the top, all the way around the top. I really wanted to finish in the daylight, uh, but uh, you know, it is what it is. And now Patrick and I are going to build the gate, AKA the front door to the Tiki cabin. The middle is. Like... Doesn't look very good, yeah. but from a really long distance away. <laughs> Tim's other favorite is it looks good for who it's for. Yeah. And my mom hates that. <laughs> it's just for Janelle. Does that look good? I don't know. Boy, is it a dumb idea to put the hinges on that side. Right? We're going to open it this way. Oh, that's good. Latch. Oh, uh -huh. boy. <laughs> nice. Look at that. All right, we just need some bamboo on there. I guess it would have been easier to No, no, we needed the bamboo. It's a little slow. The wire is pretty stiff, actually. Kind of... up nice well this is nice all right this is effectively finished dude we up did top. It. one day build <laughs> one a, day build and a late yeah. start what is it yeah we we got a very late it's start an 8, embarrassingly late start 8 15. yeah but we made up for it man yeah it worked dude. out axe helped a lot too but at this yeah, point there wasn't sure. anything you could do so i just let him hang in the truck <laughs> yeah he was a great help yeah. along the way yep good having him out here all right, so my part is pretty much done for the night. I'm going to load up my tools, head back to my parents' house, but I'm going to come back tomorrow in the daylight so we can get some uh, shots of it in the daylight. <laughs> yeah. The finished product. But I think, Patrick and Axel, you guys are going to camp out yeah. in here tonight. Oh, with yeah. your, you're going to set up your tent? We are. <laughs> nice. And they're going to cook dinner in there, too. Yeah. So. All right, we'll see you guys. You're welcome to stay for dinner, but yeah. I'm sure you probably want to go see you No, tomorrow. yeah. <laughs> yeah, my parents just got in today. Uh couple hours ago actually so i'll probably come back with them because i'm sure they want to see it oh yeah so. yeah yeah we'd love to have them out here so we'll see you guys tomorrow
borrow tools or anything that's not yours, my policy and my family's policy is leave it better than you found it. So I'm here with my mom in the daylight and we are walking back down this road, the entry road to Patrick's property. Oh, dear. I stubbed my toe on some of this lava rock. Oh, yeah. All right, and here it is in the daylight. This is what it looks like when it's not dark and raining. <laughs> yeah. So again, this was a pretty quick build, and so he just wanted to do something real simple. When you're building something like this anywhere, I guess, but especially in Washington, everything I've built like this, he usually has some sort of OSB or plywood sheeting or something that's like a big rectangle that you fasten, and that gives you the sheer strength so the building can't move this way and that. For the purposes of trying to keep this build simple, we added these two by 12s on the bottom, and then those are two by 10s on the top and put those big timber screws in to add that shear strength because this bamboo doesn't do much. I mean, this is purely aesthetic just to add a cover on the walls. But Patrick said he was shaking it last night and it feels pretty solid. So <laughs> I think he's he put a pull string on the inside so that when you're on the inside, you can open the door. So this is the door, right? And it's just simple. There's brackets on the opposite side of the door. But yeah, it's very breathable. The wind makes its way through all it's this bamboo. It's a lot cooler in here yeah, than it, it is, is outside. It is cooler. Just having the roof above you to block the sun and the shade from the bamboo. It's yeah. it's actually much cooler in here. Yeah. What color is the roofing? White. Oh, okay, that helps too. To hang the coats on there. And they got a camp-in kitchen here. And their sleeping pad was right here. All right, everyone, so we finished the tiki cabin here at Patrick's property. Now my mom and I are gonna scope out an area where we might be able to go fishing with Patrick and Axel and uh, plan on filming that too. So look out for that video next week on my channel. Also in next week's video, on my return journey home back to my off-grid cabin in the woods, I pay a visit to neighbor Al and get an update on what he's been doing since we last saw him a few weeks ago. And for those of you who are new to Patrick, Axel and the South family. They have their own YouTube channel called The Adventure Agents. I highly recommend you check out their channel. I'll put a link in the description of this video to their channel and also to the video that Patrick made of this build. They are the coolest family putting out videos on YouTube, so you definitely need to check them out and tell them Diego sent you. And if you are discovering my channel, Diego Tries Hard for the first time as a result of seeing Patrick's version of building the Tiki Cabin in Hawaii, Welcome to my channel. It is very, very random. I make videos doing projects up at my off-grid cabin. I've done some stuff with neighbor Al. I also enjoy working out. And from time to time, I'll just sit the camera in front of my face and talk for an hour. So you never really know what you're gonna get. My inability to find a niche and stick to it kind of hurts my prospects of growing on YouTube, but popularity and money are not the most important things in life. What really matters is surrounding yourself with people that love for you and care for you. And so I try and do that as much as possible, but a lot of the times I spend my time alone up at my cabin and hey, in order to love other people, you gotta love yourself. So you gotta be okay spending time alone too. So thanks for checking out this video and I hope you stick around to see future videos. And remember, life is an adventure and love is the key.